Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine what's new and old in entertainment. Some people seem to think comedy is dying, especially the era of goofball box office smashes, like The Hangover or just about any Will Ferrell movie. Some comics, most notably the famed stand-up Dave Chappelle, blame the rise of so-called cancel culture, arguing tiredly that you just can't make jokes like you used to without offending anyone. But if you look closer, I'd say that comedy is really everywhere, and it may be funnier than ever before. Comedy used to more or less exist within its delegated spaces, spaces where it was okay to be funny, where it was encouraged to laugh. In the physical sense, this meant comedy clubs, open mic nights, and improv theaters. In the ephemeral world of TV and film, sitcoms like Seinfeld, sketch shows like Saturday Night Live, improv shows like Whose Line Is It Anyway, any late-night talk show, and of course, those laugh-out-loud movies I mentioned before. But now, humor seems to be ingrained in almost every piece of entertainment we consume, and the lines between what's comedy and what's not are further blurred. Was the popular 2017 film Get Out a comedy? Its creator Jordan Peele is certainly known for being incredibly funny, and the movie may have had elements of dark comedy, but there's nothing outright funny about its premise. What about Barry, the hit series created by and starring former SNL cast member Bill Hader? Or The Bear, which won awards in the comedy category? Ultimately, it's up to your interpretation. But there's no denying that the influence of comedy has stretched far beyond its original boundaries when it comes to movies and TV. Turn to social media, and the genre is even more ubiquitous. X, or the site formerly known as Twitter, has essentially been a joke-writing workshop since its inception, but instead of laughs or applause, retweets. On other platforms like TikTok, young users who probably consider themselves content creators over comics have a knack for creating what are essentially super short comedic sketches. What's the difference between these and, say, an SNL sketch? Other than their budget and length, surprisingly little. But short videos aren't the only form of instant comedy. Out of the top five podcasts on Spotify charts, three of them are hosted by established comedians, and many of their guests are often comics themselves. While these podcasts are different from improv comedy, where actors make up characters and storylines on the spot, they still tend to be unscripted. The guests also riff on and build onto each other's jokes, essentially improvising the entire time. Even stand-up, the the what's-the-deal-with-airline-food form of comedy, that nearly became a punchline itself, seems to be having a renaissance. Scroll through TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts, and you're sure to come across stand-up clips from legendary comics to up-and-comers. And streaming services have taken notice, too. Many are investing heavily in feature stand-up specials from top comedians. So... While comedy may be harder to define and more absurd than ever before, it's certainly alive and well. You just may have to look in different spaces than before. I'm Tabor Brewster. Brewster.